All right, so whenever you think of your dream vacation, the things that you want to do, the things that you want to avoid, all the things that you don't have to do, you're pretty much going out and you're parting off everything you possibly can so that you can enjoy your moment on vacation. Whether this be a small getaway or if it's just going out for like a whole week or two and just enjoying your time and really forgetting about your whole entire life and habits that you have created until then. This is my biggest problem is that I would have uh, these habits that I would build up and I would build up these habits of, you know, working on YouTube videos and being very productive. And then all of a sudden I would go on vacation and I would completely forget about all of it. The thing is, is I want to be a self-improvement YouTuber and that allows me to make videos absolutely anywhere. And the times that we went to the Bahamas, I didn't bring any of my camera gear whatsoever. Yes, I did film some b-roll and stuff, but that was not me recording videos like this. I have the freedom to make videos and do my hobbies and do the things that I want to do while I was on vacation, but I looked at it as something that would be stressful and would take away from the vacation. Therefore, I didn't. When in reality, you're stuck in a whole bunch of different airports, you're stuck in your hotel rooms, you know, you're stuck where you're been in vacation so long that you're almost kind of waiting just to go home. The thing is, there comes a moment in which you kind of miss your old habits and you miss doing the things that you wanted to do and it sometimes creeps up on you. And whenever you get back from vacation, at least whenever I did, is that no, I didn't instantly just start going back to the grindstone and just start doing a whole bunch of YouTube. Instead, it took me a while to get back into rhythm. It's very easy for us to really forget about these habits whenever we end up going on vacation and we completely ditch everything. The only thing I didn't personally ditch was working out, which I am very, very proud of myself for because that was something that I did make sure that I did end up doing while I was on vacation because some people, they don't even do that. They even, you know, like, oh, oh, this is great. I don't even have to work out anymore for seven days or 14 days or even three days. I think it's really easy to kind of forget about everything and just put everything off and put everything on hold just because what you are going to experience and what you're leaving to experience is going to be pretty much so much greater than the hobbies and the pretty much boring stuff that you would leave at home for vacation. Now what I'm going to encourage you to do and what I'm personally going to do on my next vacation is I'm not going to go out and sit there and relax. I'm going to, yes, of course, maybe enjoy some views, maybe enjoy doing uh, some sightseeing or just particular things, but I want to personally go out there and I want to find something really, really cool to do. So maybe it would be like run a 5K in a particular location that I plan on, you know, visiting. The way I look at it is like, I pretty much don't have to work. I don't have to do anything. I don't really have very many obligations, right? This is the moment in which I would be able to bring my camera gear and make videos like this because whenever I went on the past vacations, every single time I realized, dude, I should have brought my stuff because I look in the airports and everybody's sitting there on their laptops and they're already working. They're doing their things. What am I doing? I'm sitting around, maybe listening to an audiobook, maybe playing on my Nintendo Switch. I do, do I look like a nerd. Like it was terrible. Because my mind was so focused on relaxing and just relaxing, I was to the point in which I didn't want to relax anymore. I felt like everybody around me was pretty much telling me that I needed to get back to work because everybody else was. And that's the thing. That's the whole thing about it. You know, do you think a person who loves drawing is going to not draw whenever they're on vacation? I mean, if it's a kid, they're going to continue to draw. But if they're an adult, there's a possibility they may or may not. Maybe if you have a passion for writing or maybe even a passion for like rapping or something, maybe doing that kind of stuff while you're on vacation is going to make sense. Whether it's just just writing you know, your verses or just writing maybe uh, scripts or maybe it's writing you know, a book, whatever it be, you're doing that writing while you're on vacation. I just really encourage this kind of action, especially while you're on vacation, because whenever you get home, you're completely out of flow and you just feel terrible because now it feels like you're playing a catch-up game rather than just 
being into rhythm again. You're you're back into rhythm. And the thing is, is I don't even think it takes away from the vacation. You're already taking time away from work, which is typically for most people the most amount of time that you're spending in, I guess, uh, your week, right? Is just working. I mean, you're probably sleeping more, but anyways, you're working a lot. And taking time away from work is obviously quite a freedom for a lot of people. And using that time to create things that you love, it just doesn't, it, it, you know, it's almost a no brainer, you know, and I don't know why I never did. I was so focused on relaxing and, oh, just take away time from YouTube. Well, just, you know, enjoy the views, enjoy the rides, enjoy all this different stuff. But really, I wish that I would have brought my stuff. I wish I would have been able to sit out on a balcony and just talk and just enjoy and, you know, have like beautiful scenery behind me while I'm talking to you guys about, you know, the different self-improvement ideas that I was literally coming up with and writing down while I was on vacation when I could have been just simply making those kind of videos. Now, I don't have a vacation planned anytime soon, but I can guarantee the next time I do, I'm going to create videos while I'm on a cruise ship. I'm going to create videos while I'm on top of a mountain. I'll create videos while I'm on the balcony of my hotel. That is going to be things that I'm going to do because it's what I love. It's really what I love doing. And if you have something that you love doing and you are going to go on vacation, don't just go out there to relax, okay? Because there is things that will be waiting for you whenever you get back and you're going to look at them and you're going to wish that you brought it with you. So I hope you look at vacation time a little bit more differently now. I hope that this definitely helps you and kind of gives you some guidance as to how you should maybe look at your next vacation, how you should take it on. You know, what can you do every single day while you're on vacation as, you know, to fulfill yourself, you know, your hobbies, your passions and stuff, while also being able to enjoy the, your, your vacation in general. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And then check out some of the vlogs that I did while I was on vacation. Now, yes, I did do a little bit of filming while I was on vacation and multiple different vacations. This one was in London. So this one was really, really fun. Once again, I wish that I would have filmed more videos than just one video in literally over two weeks of a vacation. So this is just why I'm really making this video. Uh, like I said, I never vlogged in the Bahamas. I never did any video stuff in the Bahamas, so I can't show that here, but I got this one. So anyways, check out this video if you haven't already. And as always, find the fire within you and stay Diablo.